You've got a fast car and Tracy Chapman has a number one hit on her hands. The new rendition of Fast Car sung by Luke Combs, a country singer, is currently number one on the country airplay charts. And this means that Tracy Chapman becomes the first black woman to have a hit number one song on the country airplay chart as a soul writer. A bit of a background on this song. This song has been around since 1988. It was the lead single off of Tracy's self-titled debut studio album. It was a top 10 hit in 1988 in the Billboard Hot 100 and it peaked at number six. The song was a smash hit and received three Grammy Award nominations, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance, in which she won a Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Rolling Stone ranked Fast Car number 167 on their list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. On the list, it is the highest ranking song performed and written solely by a female artist. Now fast forward from 1988 to 2023, the remake of Fast Car, again sung by Luke Combs, is not only the number one song on the country airplay chart, it is also currently sitting at number two on the Billboard Hot 100s. And according to Billboard, Chapman owns both the writers and the publisher shares of the song. Luke Combs' new version of the song has generated at least $500,000 in global publishing royalties in which the bulk will go to Tracy herself. Billboard did reach out to Tracy Chapman to see what she thought about all of this success on her song. She said, and I quote, I'm happy for Luke and his success and grateful that new fans have found and embraced Fast Car. I never expected to find myself on the country charts, but I'm honored to be there. And in response, Luke Combs said, and I quote, Fast Car has surprised me more than you can imagine. Tracy Chapman wrote this perfect song that I first heard with my dad and it stayed with me since. I have played it in my live shows for over six years now. Everyone in the stadiums relates to this song and sings along. Tracy is getting recognized and has reached new milestones. I love that she is out there feeling all the love and that she gave me a shout out. Thank you, Tracy. So it seems like there is a lot of love and respect between the two of them. So that's what I love to see. A lot of fans have been asking when these two are gonna get together and sing the song live. And Luke Combs manager, Chris Cappy, actually responded saying, and I quote, we will be more than excited if the opportunity arose for Tracy and Luke to perform the song together. And I really do hope it happens. I hope Luke Combs reaches out to Tracy Chapman and her team and they collaborate together to get something going for the fans. They actually have not talked to each other yet. However, I hope that they do in the future. Now, I will say there has been a few conversations going on on social media about how Luke Combs did remake the song and how some people didn't know who Tracy Chapman was before Luke Combs actually remade the song and how he's getting all the credit in the spotlight for this. From what I've seen, a lot of artists have covered this song in the past, Khalid, Justin Bieber, Sam Smith. However, it seems like this cover is getting the most traction. Again, he said he's been singing this song in his stadium concerts for the past six years and everyone seems to love it. He even posted the live music video of when he's actually singing it at one of his concerts and the fans are loving it. So I think that's a big part as to why this cover is successful. In my opinion, I don't think he's necessarily taking anything away from Tracy Chapman. I mean, this song is number one. She wrote this song. She of course helped publish the song and according to Billboard, she's getting over $500,000 worth of royalties or that's how much the song has actually been bringing in over the past couple of weeks. So it seems like she is benefiting from this success. Now, when I think about this story, I also think about Dolly Parton and Whitney Houston. I think about how Dolly Parton, she actually wrote and sung, I Will Always Love You years before Whitney Houston sung the song. The song came out in 1974 and it was a number one hit on the country charts. And then Whitney Houston, as we all know, took a stab at the song 
and it came out in 1992 and it spent 14 weeks on top of the Billboard Hot 100. So I'm definitely happy for both artists, Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs. I love that they're supporting each other. I wanna know what you guys think. Have you guys heard both of the versions? Which version do you like the best? Do you want them to get on stage together and sing this song? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for some more Taylor Talks. And as I always say, guys, stay safe. See ya.